Hi, um, here we have a problem that states 100 grams of water is cooled from 20 to 0 degrees Celsius using dry ice. The enthalpy of sublimation of carbon dioxide solid, or the dry ice, is 25.2 kilojoules per mole. What mass of dry ice is needed? Okay, well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to determine the amount of heat that will be released as the water cools. So um, we have this um, equation here. Uh, we can determine that amount of heat by uh, multiplying the mass of the water times the specific heat of water and then the uh, temperature change delta T. So remember, delta T is the final temperature, which is zero degrees, minus the initial temperature, which is 20 degrees. So in this case, as the water uh, cools, then um, heat is going to be released. So let's just go ahead and um, fill in these values here to find the heat. The uh, specific um, heat of water is 4.186 joules per degree Celsius per gram. So let's go ahead and calculate this. We have 100 grams of water times the specific heat of water. And in this case, delta T is going to be zero degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius. So we'll uh, put this into our calculator. We get an answer of 8,372 joules. And we'll just go ahead and convert that to kilojoules. So that would be 8.372 kilojoules of heat that is released. Okay, so now all we need to do is use the enthalpy of sublimation of carbon dioxide. Remember, the enthalpy of sublimation for carbon dioxide states that in order to uh, sublime one mole of carbon dioxide, uh, we need 25.2 kilojoules of energy. So one mole over 25.2 two kilojoules. And now we just need to convert the moles of carbon dioxide to grams. And the molar mass is 44 grams. And this works out to be 14.6 grams, which is about 15 grams. I hope this helped. Everyone have a good night.